Hello folks, welcome back to Raid Report 22. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done an episode on here. But anyways, here we are on the last day of March and it's time to start planting our final crops for the year. So I've got a couple of crops I want to plant, including cotton, wheat, soybeans, sugar beets and corn. I know we're technically where we had to be going over here, but obviously with the recent episode of us merging and creating all of these fields, all mega fields and that, I'm going to be changing things up a bit, so the plan of action is going to be, I'm going to get rid of this wheat here, I'm going to be planting corn, but that ain't going to be till April, that's fine. Also I want to do, I should know, I ain't going to do soybeans actually, we'll scrap soybeans, but yeah, so I want to do corn, cotton on these two fields up here and then I'm thinking likes of sugar beet for this field here and these three smaller clumps of fields that could be the wheat so obviously we could do with some grass and that because as well we do this think about our animals and that so at the moment they're all good and that like the pig food I was going to purchase, as I've already mentioned many times before. And for now, the feed for the chickens could stay the same. Actually, you know what? Let's do the big field as wheat. So we still keep wheat up here. And yeah, just hard. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. And then, yeah, actually, we can do grass on these fields down here. And then from there, we'll go on and think about what we need to do. But yeah. Obviously, I know it's been a while since I've been on here now, like, what, a week or two, at least? But anyways, I'm back, and yeah, this is going to be the final year on the farm. Because, yeah, it's time to move on. We've already achieved what we set out to achieve in that, with purchasing every plot of land on the map. So, yeah, we'll get our McKinsey here. And, oh boy, this is going to take a while so I think my thinking is if we per not purchase at least a second planter and that so I'm yeah, looking at other options now what we can use potentially and that could do all of our basic crops including sugar beet and cotton 450 horsepower is required don't additional liquid fertilizer or Actually, what? Let's do that. So, that requires a 450 horsepower tractor to do so. Ooh, dang it. <coughs> actually, what is our planter rated at? So, actually, what? Let's swap these out a sec. First of all, what I'll do is we'll get the fence, we'll get that taken over up north. He <laughs> can't do the tight turns and that. Come on. And yeah, one thing I also would start to do over this year and that is purchase every production and do every production pretty much so. The tanks are open. And now she needs to purchase our fertilizers and all that, so seed is going in. And the liquid fertilizer should be no this one here at the end. And why isn't that going up? We thought well, we've gone up by now, but hmm. Let me just unfold this and get it filled. I think perhaps a good way to do it. Oh no, Ugh. a bit rusty here, so better be a sec. So I've spent all of our money on liquid fertilizer and hopefully it should last a while and actually I just remembered I think we got some at the farm lad because obviously when we created our dream farm and that didn't I you know invest in everything I think I did but no oh, anyways we're filling it up now so that's what matters and again worst case scenario if we need stuff and that we can always just sell some land so 
Actually, I may sell some land over here. So yeah, one thing I want to do is get that cotton production on the way. We're making cotton from the our greenhouses, so 60 grand. So yeah, of course, wool and cotton. And I think we actually should have some cotton already coming in. If we skip till 2 o'clock. There we go. Have a look. So yeah, a little bit of cotton. We just turned that on before starting off the episode here. So now that's filled up. And yeah, I'm thinking doing grass. So... Oh no, grass is going to be these fields down here, right? Was it? Actually, have a look. Oh, forgot already. Yeah, grass is going to be down there. So yeah, I'm thinking if we start planting this field over here, and that could be here. I don't. I want to do that manually myself because no AI workers. I'm just going to go over that and completely fuck us over. And yeah, I'm thinking. Sugar beet on that field. See, so 8,000 litres. Actually, what we can do is screw it, purchase another IBC tank. And yeah, in theory, that should last us a while, but to be honest, I don't know. Here. And yeah, I think the best course of action is going to be. Is if we do the perimeters and all that ourselves, or at least around this farm area up here, now because yeah, that's gonna be some issues. Um, I for completely forgot these size bells because yeah, again, it's been a while since I've been on. And yeah, they're fermenting. All right, so we can use that as animal feed for our cows. Because yeah, going forward now, like. Yeah, with terms with replacing this series with something else, I'm thinking of doing like a dairy farm now. I've mentioned this already, I shared some little photos of it, of the logo for this farm and that. But yeah, Royal British Dairy and that. You know, because I'm inspired by Mighty Mike and that, a fellow content creator who's done, or who is doing, 10,000 cows and that, but again, he's on PC. It's using the 4x map and some upgraded and some changes in XMLs with equipment. Don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing my, my, my ring thing, I'm just thinking I want to do something similar but different. You know, I want to make it my own and that, especially being on console, being on last gen, <laughs> last gen, last gen, so PS4 and that, Xbox Series, Xbox One, or whatever it's called, I don't know. Billy Microsoft, what play your names to use out? Doesn't make sense. 360, 1. Yeah, I'm thinking, what's gonna break first? Me or the game? Because 10,000 cows requires like, at the end, like 12 million litres of feed a month. And yes. Again, let's try to pick a big enough map, but also a British map. I know you got like a No Man's Land like kind of map. I think it's called a like, Avon State or something like that, but yeah, it's just not for me personally in that. So yeah, what's that's already cracking on? Yeah, this all needs to be moved, but for now, I'm gonna deal with those later on. So the workers hopefully should have no problems doing that. And at the end of the day, as my attitude is with my workers all the time is, as long as they do something amount of decent progress then it's better than for us to have to done it and that because again extra time that and yeah in terms of the plan on when this episode comes out we was hoping Saturday now but uh, yeah doing the mod review yesterday on Friday for all those awesome mods that we have had dropped even though yeah it was only a couple of item, mod items or sorry a couple of mods a lot of them had a lot of items in that so me being me I sort of took my time, break down, and have some fun now, including the all-in-one underground facility in that. So yeah, at the moment it is coming up to one o'clock. I need to leave here by half past four, so this thing is done up in that. Because yeah, just absolutely tired after working all weekend at this new job I'm at. 
But yeah, I'm going to keep my options open at least. But yeah, worst case scenario, this would be out Sunday. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do is just keep on doing videos and acts because I, I love making content. It's just working 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. That means I have to leave for work by half past six in the morning at the latest. So I'll try to leave a bit earlier about quarter past six and that. So I'll get to work, have a couple fags and that, or cigarettes, if you're American and that. So I know the word fags is a bit, or what was it, homophobic or whatever it is, I don't fucking know. Don't give a shit, to be honest, because, oh uh, yeah, it's like a lot of things nowadays. The world has gone to pot, in terms of all this sensitivity and that, so think like generations and all that BS. Especially now we're in, in June and that, and yeah, this is going to be a hot take. This may actually get this video demonetized and that, but it's June and what that means? Pride month apparently. Even though that is celebrated all year round, like you got those idiotic influencers, woke leftists and that, government pandering all over the world, like, including here in the UK, especially if the most with like, things like the states and that with uh, they're dropping in the ideas of back in the day you actually had to be intelligent to get into the US Army but now they're taking pretty much anyone and catering to all their he she's a's m whatever bloody multiple mental illness genders and that and in the day there's only two genders male and female why because that is biology it is science for humans, you either have XX or XY chromosomes, that means you are a biological male or female, despite what you may think in your head in that. Uh, yeah, I know, again, very controversial here and that, but no. The whole point of this is because, yeah, we will celebrate pride, transgender and that, all good for them now, all power to the like, 0 .00, like, 0 0.01% of people in the world. But what about f fucking hell, things like our military, like here in the UK and that, especially in the United States, very patriotic when it comes to our servicemen and women. That's not just the army, it's firefighters, ambulance workers, paramedics, even the police and that. You know, since old George Floyd and that, you know, OD'd himself on fentanyl, well, not on fentanyl, it's fentanyl and all that shit. Oh, uh, yeah, the world's gone to popping on that whole idea of police and that, but at the end of the day, you need the police to have a functional society. Otherwise, look like the Middle East and that, let's put it that way. But, anyways, hopefully, these people are still watching that. And, yeah, what I want to do here, I want to celebrate, you know, pay respect to our veterans and that. You know, D Day's coming up around the corner and that. Eight years since our brave men and that. Storing the beaches of Normandy to conquer like Nazi Germany and that, and to restore the freedom that we all bloody enjoy today. Including the freedom to think there's like a hundred different fucking genders and that. It's bullshit, but don't get me wrong. I may not like your opinion and that. Yeah, it's not a fact that it's your opinion and that. There is a still aspect of me, as a human being, I'll respect your opinion. Even though it is wrong. And I think you got a bit of a mental illness if you there's a hundred genders or something, but at the end of the day, that is you. You be you, Nat. Just don't force it down my throat, I won't force it down your throat. In more ways than one, but yeah, a little bit of a rant there, Nat, I admit. But yeah, you know, all year round, pride, trans issues, Nat, it's all separate, Nat. But nothing's fucking done about our veterans, Nat, like our yeah, service people, Nat. People who put our lives on the line, day in, day out. You know, give us what we. Well, yeah, your opinion may this be a bit uh, diverse in that. But yeah, to give us like, the freedom, quote unquote, there, paraphrasing, in air quotes there and that, with freedom and that. But hey, what do you want to live? Do you want to live in the good old West? So, United States. Uh, UK and that, pretty much say and do whatever you want. The only thing here you can wish we had was right to bear arms and that. Because, yeah, knife crimes and that, here's our gun 
what you folks can think is a gun problem, which ain't a gun problem, it's yet the legacy media making all of a big deal out of it. But what is an actual problem here in the UK is knife crime and that. And yeah, I have our right to bear arms and that when it comes to dealing with idiotic use and that. Swinging knives around, especially where I live and that. Where I live out is outside of London, which is the most prone of motorcycle theft and that. And yeah, again, if you don't know me and that, you know I'm part of a bike club and that motorcycle club. I'm a passionate biker now, so when it comes to motorcycle thieves, let's put it this way. They'll be begging for the police to turn up and catch them and arrest them because if I catch them, try to steal my bike, or even touch my bike. Yeah, they'll be six feet under eventually. After having a bit of fun, of course, because scum like that, uh, yeah, it's all down to Parents who don't give a crap and that, who don't care for the kids and that. Ah, uh, just, yeah, a whole lot of things and that. And yeah, one of those por portion of the videos going to get demonetized now. So, you know, say all the keywords and that. And more importantly, say my own opinion, which in those things I don't tend to get political in my videos and that because it's a escapism and that. But yeah, that whole little rant there is all about, yeah, separating our brave men and women all over the world and that. And yeah, just show some thanks, social appreciation. I know in states, you know, patriotism with like, support veterans is a good thing that is a common thing in that. Sorry, yeah, I didn't mean yeah. I didn't mean to say it's a good thing. Of course it's a fucking good thing. But it's something that you folks take to heart. Here in the UK, even though yeah more and more nowadays is all going to pot in that. There's no real sense of patriotism, like, you know, like, be proud of our brave men and women and that. There's just fuck all of that nowadays. And I mean, generally, there ain't. When's the last time? Oh, yeah. Okay, actually, no, we're done here. I don't want to go over this again. I'll waste in the fertilizer and that. But yeah, all over the world and that. Yeah, just also train for and that, but. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, we need to not just celebrate our brave men and women just once a day a year or one month a year and that. This should be like how pride is celebrated, you know, all day, all days, all the year round. And to be honest, I prefer to celebrate our brave men and women who gives us our freedom that we get to enjoy every day, regardless of wherever you are in the West and that. Yeah, as soon as you head to China and all that, rates drop very significantly again. Er, uh, yeah. I'm not saying the West is all the best in that. We've got our bloody own problems, including problems that even the likes of Vladimir Putin make some clear points on. With us pandering in that, like, you know, breaking away from traditional values. Because, yeah, as a world, we're, we're dying in that. As a world, we're dying out. We need more people in the world than that. There's people in certain areas in the, of the world who are overpopulated, you know. Things like, like, in Africa and that, in some parts of the Middle East, not Middle East, like Asia and that. But yeah, we need to get, you know, the fertility rates up in that, and have that, some of those traditional values, that, not sorry, male and female roles, but just the idea of a man and a woman can get together, have a child, well, actually, no, we really need 2.1 child. Yeah, 2.1 children in that, to see a healthy population. And that, yeah, the concept of that is, nowadays, absolute baffling that. It's absolutely been using of, just, yeah, the ideas of, yeah, you know, your traditional family, a normal family, fuck no. And yeah, that's the whole problem with the West nowadays, it's, again, it's all that pandering. Pandering to, and over, over adjusting our morals and values, suit the extreme minority. The point, like, I think it's like 0.01%. Absolute fraction. I'm a one percenter in more, more ways than that. But, oh uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it just needs to change the world. But yeah, enough yabbering on. 
That is rant tam, rant tam, rant time, rant time with Farm Envoy here. And now, you see what we're doing? We're still drilling the sand, not sand. What am I? Drilling the sand, fuck's sake, Envoy. Oh, uh, yeah, drilling the grass. And yeah, it's going to take us a while to get it done, so yeah. Let's get it done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. A little random now, I will clear a few things up, but yeah, so what we've got done is see the over our fields, so I've made some changes. So we've got corn up here in the north, followed by cotton, wheat, sugar beet, sunflower, and these are our grass fields. And yeah, one thing I did notice we've got some weird patches in that actually. If I go to grow in, let's make pop up in that but yeah like i got some like weird patches off bits that hasn't drilled in that so i'm not sure why that is it's like proper <laughs> messy in that like, even over here in that the like, absolute massive patches off it's just so you know what we're not gonna get bothered drilling that so i'm not sure what happened but yeah, so we sold our excess seeds and fertilizer and that. Oh, we've still got some liquid fertilizer left in the tank because we're going to need that for the spraying. But yeah, like, why did this fail now? Like, leaves a little strip over here, but honestly, I don't know that. So, but anyway, so back to the tier ship. We've got our two sprayers down here, so we need to start frozen and spray or herbicide spray so we get the herbicide because grass is ready to grow now or well, grass is ready to cut but if we look at the frozen seats yeah they can do it with applications of fertilizer and that so from the perimeters and that but yeah just to clarify a few things about the rant at the end of the day I'm very patron patron to connect and as I mentioned, I'm proud of our service men and women, proud to be British and that. And yeah, with the whole it being Pride Month and that, yeah. My yeah, my opinion does sound like it's over celebrating that, over celebrating for a minority of what? One, two percent of the people in that in the world. And yeah, just 
My biggest problem with it all is just how it's all forced down our throats now. For example, you don't see you know supports for our armed armed forces wherever in the world, wherever you're in America, Britain, or whatever. Do you see you know support that for our armed forces now that like, you know publicly that in the media? No, of course you don't. But anything to do with pride, LGBT, and all that, or any other social issues and that. Yeah, I guess ram down our throats and that. Uh, forced to accept it, or otherwise we are bigots and that. So, yeah. Well, when we're all going to be doing these like, little rants up going forward, I don't know. Let me know if you sort of enjoy these little hot topic discussions that about FS22, FS25, or just life in general. I will try to avoid politics where I can. Because, yeah, I play Farm Sim to have that escapism from the real world. Because we know the real world is shit in that, so... You know, working 7 to 4 in days, getting my half 4 in that. I leave about half 6, quarter past 6 in the morning to get to work in that. Just because of traffic in that. Yeah, when I come home. Yeah, I'll... Yeah, obviously I'll make content in that, but I do play... Maybe a couple of hours I do on my own in that, you know. No, like... Recordings or anything, just me be me playing my own game saves and acts at the moment. I'm playing on Shipping Order, the Clark's Farm Nat. But yeah, also, this is going to come out late because I spent. It's going to come out Monday, this will be because I spent most of Sunday doing some testing for our new Let's Play Nat because. Yeah, done some testing on British maps and that, finding out the prices of fields and that. And yeah, the best map for me for our 10,000 Dairy Cow Challenge is... Obviously, this was one of my first ideas, but I had to do some testing. Is Comston Farm. Yeah, I know I've done a series on that. I think I ended that abruptly. They like, ran about episode 30 in that. But yeah, I want to play on that map again. There were some other considerations, like Annan Park. Played that on FS19. Also mapped by... Oh, was it GB Wadding? Oh, I can't remember off my head, but... Yeah, all some modern that. Let's check in our fields and that. Oh, are these. Oh no. So I wonder why I ain't fertilizing. But yeah, also consider. I was tempted to redo by spring that, but yeah, there's not much space in that for our cow pens there because. We're going to be using the monosloops now. I can't remember who's buying that. But yeah, they're like, they're like massive animal pens. And so, I doubt I've got it installed on here, but have a quick look. But yeah, for example, our cow barn here, you look at that, that looks like pretty huge in that. But imagine that about two and about two and a half times as big. Twice as big, I would say, at least. So, yeah. Compton Farm is going to be the map because you've got those two buildable lot areas and that. Obviously, we're going to be starting on start from scratch. We'll be starting from a sum of 10 million. And yeah, you may think 10 million is a lot of money. However, two feet. Well, we're going to be starting off with a thousand cows. Done the math. And for the cows themselves, they're going to cost over half a mil. For the animal pens, which is not all 10 of the bond slopes, it is, I think, 6 bond slopes and I think it's 2 of the basic pastures or basic buildable feedlots by Schultz Modding. So, yeah, between those, because the ones by Schultz, very small that. And yeah, I could just go ahead and use those and say we're done, but yeah, I want to give myself a bit of a challenge and use something cool, but yeah, I want to push the limits now, I want to push myself in that, have a good story 10 on that, so yeah, well, when this comes out on Monday, I'll go spending Monday getting a couple of countryside done, getting the next episode out of that ready, whether or not I'll continue on that series, I don't know, interest has been a bit, a bit waiting in that. But yeah, similar from Wave Into Survival, we're almost at the end of Season 1. So yeah, I was going to do a second season, but again, interest on that has dropped. That could be down to me, storytelling that. 
So no, when I did Evergreen Valley, for a, you know, for the first four episodes I did on that before the mod got fucking removed on mod hub and that, because there's some idiots complaining that and moaning. That's my opinion on that. Feel free to disagree on that, but that's my honest opinion about people complaining that too much, mod bashing the maps and that. But yeah, back to the point. That was a very successful series for me, and I think. If I try to get something now, I've got my PC here because, yep, yeah, Evergreen Valley, that was a huge series for me. So, yeah, I think, I think the first episode, yeah, got it up here now. Yeah, first episode, 2,400 views. For me, have, yeah, for me personally, that is the most views I've got on a Let's Play series. Yeah, maybe it's because of the whole American Dream thing. I tapped into that mark in that episode. But then again, for the SP series for me personally, and that gets see, I'm around 1,905 subscribers by the time of recording this part here. Yeah, so if I get around 150 to 200 views on the video, that's pretty decent. I know, obviously I've been slacking that on videos lately. And I will be trying to change that, like with mod reviews and that. I may do some experiments on where... I only do like highlight mod reviews and that, you know, pick the top mods of the week or of the day and that. Depends on what mods are dropping that because I know by the time I'm home that, which will be about half four, if mods haven't dropped yet, I've got a chance of getting my video out around about the same time as the likes of Mr. P and maybe DJ Go Hand, depending on what mods they are. But then also you got the likes of the farm guy, awesome content creator, feel free to give him a sub and that. But yeah, by the time they get their videos out, I'm going to be behind and... Like with the all-in-one silo system and that, yeah, I've got about 100 views. But if I had that out on, on time, that could have easily doubled, that doubled or tripled in views because... Things like the all-in-one um, limb quarters and that, that is an awesome mod by Superfly842. I'm looking forward to the rest of its mods that are coming out, but yeah, also I should be refocusing really on where I'm going because I am wasting about no, not sure if it's 50%, I think it's something on the lines of 30% of more grass, maybe they grow for a third day now or for a month. So there we go. And that is that done. Let us top up, and then we'll quickly get the north grass fields fertilized. And then, yep, yeah, it's just these little fields over here he's fertilizing. But to be honest, they can wait in that. I'm going to get the grass done in case I do cut them in May in that. But yeah, that will be for the next episode. Yeah, currently we're on 222 grand. All the thing I want to do is... I want to purchase every production on the map and that. So yeah, we've got the greenhouse over here and that by Mrs. Zumatana. We can grow a lot of stuff here and that. Because yeah, I think we have a look at the moment for the cotton itself. Yeah, we're overfilling with the cotton and that. Also got lots of dried corn and that to sell, so... Actually, let's go and sell that in the next episode, so... 172,000 liters. Go to our prices. So I know it was worth doing dried corn over corn. Now I've done the math for that roughly when I started, but prices. Ticket to the Great Ever West or the ranch. We can get almost three grand for that. So yeah, 2,800. And what's that? 173,000 liters? That is a shit ton of money. That is about 450 grand. Now that's the Alma cell point. That's cell point. Train silo, train silo, and do ship. Bell cell point, that. But yeah. I've mean, already got the corn dryer. The sugar milk. That's why I'm doing sugar milk to get some sugar. That's 8 grand. Oil milk. Guaranteed, what, 8 grand maybe on that? Uh, no, of course I've gone on to run like that. And yes, I know if I want money that quickly, just do wood chips, but... 
Yeah, it's, I think, yeah, are these all... 80 grand or whatever? 60... But yeah, I knew with Sawmill now, I was going to use the... Um, the American one. 100 grand error. Not too shabby, and that's the... The dairy, and then the bakery. But yeah, I'm thinking... Yeah, 70 grand. And the final one is the bakery. So this is one on the exact thing. With this one, you can get your pumpkin poison at. Actually, I'm going to purchase that because, yeah, I am interested. Yeah, the cornbread in that. So, that's going to need corn flour. And to get that, I'm guessing we're going to need this. That, so we can purchase that. And yeah, corn flour that does require corn and dried corn as well. So, see yeah, that requires fine corn flour, 12,000 liters a month. So, yeah, let's say we sell as much as we need to to get our productions in that. And then from there, yeah, I'm thinking. Yep, yeah, sell what we need for to get the rest of the productions, and the rest then we'll just chuck in. Also, we don't need this anymore. And yeah, I think you can sell the cloth tractor and that. And to be honest, I think with just the 300 grand there, we got enough to purchase all the productions. But to find out, stay tuned for the next episode. So yeah, we need to get the rest of the frozen done. Then. Maybe sell the dry corn and that, but yeah, for just 29 grand, I think that's gonna be enough for all the productions on the map and that. If not, we'll sell some dry corn and that and get some profit from that. But yeah, anyways, that's where I can leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the like button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not, subscribe subscribe to the channel yet, then please consider but for you to do hope you nice day for now, this will be Farmer Envo Extreme and I'll see you all very soon